Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. Welcome back to another episode of Confessions of a Small Business Owner with me, Alicia. Um, so I think the last one I did was um, late July. It is now August 19th and I have another episode, another vlog of Confessions for you. So as you know, um, the way confessions works is I write a lot so I have my blog and then I record a blog to go with my blog so um this morning let's just get started so this morning I woke up feeling super motivated um I don't know why but I'm grateful for the motivation but I think something that I need to work on and something that all small business need small business owners have to work on is being disciplined um, so even when you're not motivated because discipline's gonna get the job done and you're not always gonna be motivated like I'm not always motivated and I don't know why I woke up feeling so motivated this morning maybe because this weekend I took some time to just kind of lay in bed rest I am um, worked on writing out some things I just had kind of like a low-key quiet weekend and maybe that's why I work I woke up motivated maybe um, it's aligning with like my cycle ending TMI I know but as a woman these are things you deal with right like you have um, PMS and PMS is real and like your emotions are out of whack life is over and so when it ends like you're feeling like okay like i can take over the world so maybe that's why i don't know but i woke up feeling really motivated and i'm here to give you the next episode so um so yeah so i'm back if you're new here welcome if you've been here welcome back um thank you for watching and basically at confessions I just share some stories to share some things going on in my small business world and I have no um, what's the word like uh, I have nothing wrong like with saying small business like my business is small and you know one day it'll be big if that's what is aligned for me and one day it may not be big but um, I am a small business owner and I share some small business confessions so just something I've been working on um, in the last three weeks is creating my mastermind group if you have read Think and Grow Rich they talk um, it talks a lot about developing your mastermind group and basically your mastermind group is a group of individuals who come together to share like knowledge insights experience to help each other achieve their goals and I'm working on developing my mastermind group um, I don't know if like me creating my mastermind group is a part of them creating their mastermind group if that makes sense like these are people that I've found that I want to be part of my group because they because they um inspire they motivate they root for me they have ambition they have experience they have um knowledge in certain areas that I like that I need for my business and I'm definitely here to be part of their mastermind group if that's what they want but I selected these people because of those things that I just said and for a long time I didn't think I needed a mastermind group I didn't really have one in mind because I was thinking of like my business and like how um these like not this group but like how like how am I gonna get a mastermind group when um like I don't know if these people want to be part of my group these people want to contribute to what I have but I think these the people that I have selected that I am selecting are awesome and they can contribute to um, my growth and I hope I can contribute to their growth so I have been working on developing my mastermind group um, and what else oh I started planning my week so one thing I did yesterday like I said I had some time down I started planning my um, weekly tasks planning my content for the week um planning my tasks for the week to reach my goal right because you have your goals and you have to create your tasks to reach your goal so i've been working on that and then um you know creating content like i have a love hate relationship with content like i love creating content but if my creative wheels aren't spinning then i have uh like I absolutely hate it but then that's when like you need to take a step back and it's okay to take a step back so that's um, when you need to take a step back so um, like I said I have a love-hate relationship um, with creating content but I'm really making um, I'm really making a huge effort to plan my week to plan my tasks towards my goals um, something that I've been thinking about is focusing on customer wants um, or what 
I think they want while like balancing my authenticity right so like you want to make your customers happy um, just like an example like let's say a product that like customers are constantly like you should make this you should make this but like you absolutely hate making that like I'm trying to balance like okay this is what customers say they want so should I do that versus like no like I absolutely hate making that so I'm not going to do that so I'm trying to um, I'm trying to balance that but also like something that I'm trying to balance is going back to creating content is like TikTok like I've talked about TikTok before like I won't get on TikTok it's not my thing um, so that's like one of the things too right like I'm, you're not gonna see me dancing on TikTok even though that's what customers want but actually like that's not what customers want that's just what um, people scrolling through uh, your phone want your customers want to know how your product add value how your product can add value how your product makes them happy how you talk about your product not you know you dancing and holding up your product does that make sense so that's just something that I'm dealing with is your product on TikTok um, is your business on TikTok I'm just curious as to like how your business is doing on TikTok um, and a lot of people thrive on TikTok but that's just not for me and just like for one thing I, I really I'm not into social media. I feel like social media, it has so many advantages, but it has a ton of disadvantages. And I feel like people, we lay and we like scroll and we get, um, like, we start to develop like issues, like, um, not confidence, but sometimes confidence issues, but also like we look at people and we're like, oh, they're doing this, they're doing that. Like, why am I not doing this? Why is my business not thriving? Like, the economy sucks and these people their businesses is thriving but my business is not like it's just so I just I'm just you know and then also like with social media everyone's like an expert like there's so many um, like relationship experts on there and there's so many like um, there's just like a ton of stuff to where you start like you'll see one post and then you you might like it and then you start questioning things going on in your life and then your whole algorithm is that and then it F's up your whole like day like it has to like your groove you know so anyway so I try to limit my social media sorry if you hear construction like they're doing construction in the apartment underneath me and it's freaking a hot mess so um let's see what else I was writing about oh someone asked me the other day like how do I keep going especially in the current climate the current economy like how do I keep going and it's because I have to um there's no plan B, you know, and you know, I'm, I'm always thinking about applying for a job. Like I'm always like, do I get a job? Do I get a job? I actually saw this job the other day that I'm like, oh man, this job was made for me, you know? But then I'm like, I don't want a nine to five. Like I really don't. And there's nothing wrong with nine to fives, but it's like, I've worked nine to fives for 20 years. And it's like, I've worked, you know, I've had my I haven't worked in a nine to five for three years and I really enjoy like my slow mornings. I really enjoy being able to work out, even though, you know, I might be up to midnight some nights working. I might have to work on the weekends, but I do enjoy like being my own boss. I mean, you're not really your own boss 100 percent because you have to have customers who, you know, support you. But um, I don't really want a nine to five. But anyway, like I don't really have a plan B. Right. Obviously, like there is technically a plan B. Like at the end of the day, I can get a job. But I don't want to, right? And so, you know, the person asked me, how do you keep going? And it's because we don't quit, right? You guys, like, we don't, we don't quit. Um, we pivot, but we don't quit, right? Quitters never win, winners never quit. You know, I'm always questioning, thinking about quitting, but you don't quit. You don't quit. You pivot, you take breaks, but you don't quit. You persist, you have persistence, but you do not, um, don't be defeated, you know? If it's something that you really want to do, keep going, keep pushing, um, don't quit. Like I said, take a break, turn your phone off, like step back for a little bit, but do not quit. Um, fight on in the face of discouragement, you know, like, because again, like this morning I woke up super motivated, but last week, like I was hella discouraged. Like I was crying like Friday, Saturday, Saturday like, you know, and so, um, just don't quit like you know I know we get discouraged but don't quit um, and talking about pivoting I talk a lot about pivoting on here um, I recently pivoted from um, I'm not gonna say like I, I did pivot but like I didn't close any of my businesses but I did launch a new business um, so I started my business at Trust Treats 
in 2016 because I love scarves. Like I absolutely hated combing my hair like with a passion. And so I created a scarf line because I did not want to comb my hair. Like I literally woke up every day and threw on a scarf. So then I started making scarves, which later turned into shower caps and bonnets and scrunchies. Um, but my love has changed. Like I still love scarves, but I love hats even more, right? Because so now I have my locks and so I don't, have to comb my hair but I love to put on a hat right I love to like hats go with everything right so I love to like wake up in the morning get dressed throw on a hat boom and so I launched a new business called brims and beauty and it is through my blog like I'm tired of create constantly creating new websites so um brims and beauty is through my blog aliciamichelle.com and it's because I love hats so that's why I started brims and beauty and basically like um, we grow, seasons change, chapters close, new chapters open, you start writing different parts of your story, and so, um, and that's okay. So, that's what I have recently done. I recently, um, pivoted, and I launched Brims and Beauty. Um, what else? Oh, I added more tools to my business page on my blog. Like, one of the tips that I added is, um, for you to, and something that I, I noticed on my website is when I did this, you know, I started getting more, um, hits, like, you know, you could check your analytics. So, um, I added like, co like columns, right? So I used to just have like bonnets and then shower caps, but then, you know, you add categories, right? Or like by problem, you know, so like dry skin, cause I also have a business called That's That Magic. So it's like dry skin, dull skin you want your skin to glow you have fridge you have dry hair so then you have add these categories or these problems onto your website and people can shop by problem right long hair short hair curly hair straight hair whatever you know you do so that's just something that I added on my business tips page on my blog um let's see what else oh something else I decided that I wrote a lot right so like it's been three weeks since I recorded so I'm like constantly like writing like I love writing again like I, I always talk about that so um I decided during the month of August I was gonna commit to flowing um no stress no worries but I've been stressed the hell out I've been worrying um but I'm really trying to focus on no stress no worry right I'm learning growth uh progress creating new habits about like unlearning versus learning um you know, it's, I've been working on like unlearning, worrying, unlearning stress. Cause you know, I think as we grow up and we see people like older people in our lives who are like stressed the hell out. Like I think it teaches us to stress the hell, but in reality, stress and worry don't do anything for us except kill us slowly. So no worry, no stress, just breathe, <sighs> breathe, 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 breathe. Um, let's see. Oh, uh, I did receive, so convention of the small business owner I just I got the nicest email um, from a customer so if you're watching this and you are a customer like sending a email to um, a company that you admire a company that you love brightens the day of the business owner so make sure you know if you have time just send a nice email um, to them and let them know how amazing you think their product is um, what's this? I am, and oh, I'm, I'm in the process of doing a few things that I can't share with you right now, but I am going to share as soon as everything happens and everything falls into place. Like every day I'm getting closer and closer to certain goals and, but it's like every, it's, it's so wild. Like every day I'm getting closer to goals, but then I'm like feeling discouraged, right? So it's like, it's so weird. But, um, so even though I'm getting closer to these goals, like something could happen one day and I'm like. I'm crying. I'm, it's a huge setback. I'm like, is this for me? Um, why is this happening to me? Um, so it's like, does that happen to you? You know, like I try not to compare myself to other people, but I try to compare myself to myself and how I was doing last year and last week. But sometimes it's hard when everything seems to be falling apart, but it's, it, and then it's like, but is it falling apart? You know what I mean? So, um, yeah. So I am working on a few new things that I'm pretty excited to talk about and I will talk about them as soon as they happen. And that's one thing, right? They say like, don't talk about it until it's done. You know, don't talk about it, be about it. So um, I am working on some things and I can't wait to share those things with you. Um, oh, 
something else that happened recently is I started getting monetized on Instagram for my uh, business, which is like, I don't know how the hell that happened, but they sent me something and I was like, you can get monetized. Do you want a bonus? Blah, 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 whatever. So I clicked yes. And then I'm starting to get monetized. And as of yesterday, I was at 38 whole cents. So I'm curious to see how this goes because I know a lot of, um, People will post like, oh, I made five figures off one reel and, you know, I posted yesterday and I made a thousand dollars today. And so I'm very curious to see how that goes. The only thing is like, I'm not really inspired to create a lot of reels and carousels and posts and whatever. So um, we'll see how that goes. So maybe that's why I'm only at 38 cents, but I will keep you posted on that. And something else that's wild, postage, like I keep wanting to cuss. Like, I don't know if you can see my mouth. I'm like, oh. postage went up again. Um, postage constantly going up. It's wild. Why does postage keep going up? I mean, it, I swear, like, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but postage is going up again sometime in mid-September for USPS priority shipping. So right now I pay about $9 on shipping for one of my companies that includes postage. And it's like, goddamn. Like nine dollars to ship, like you know, a, a, it's so who knows how much it's going up, but it's going up again, and yeah, so that's really just all I had to share. A lot going on in the last three weeks, but I hope you all are doing amazing. Don't forget to um, be disciplined, and you know, disciplined is uh, discipline over motivation because you're not always going to be motivated, and. Um, Thanks for being here. Don't forget to share with someone who may need to hear this. And I love you. And um, remember to be um, the you that makes you the happiest. And drink your water. And mind your business. Love you.